beauty, everybody. It's me, Stump Jumper. I'm up here with my buddy Mike, Mike Shields. Mike drives truck for us. So what do you got here, Mikey? This is a pretty interesting little gadget you got here. Go ahead and explain to the fine folks on YouTube what you got. Yeah, this is just a, a Woodmiser LT15 sawmill. Pretty cool, huh? That's got the Kohler, Kohler, uh, what is it, a V-twin or something, or just a single? I don't know what it is, but it's a, how many horses is it? 14. 14 horse Kohler engine on it. And boy, this thing is sweet. So how long of a log will it cut, you said? It's 17 foot, 8 inches. 17, 8. And then uh, I think the, the fruit is 26 inches. So it'll cut a 26 inch it'll, wide log. It'll cut a 28 inch. 28 as inch wide. As far as cutting boards, you can get a 26 inch board. Wow. Man, that's awesome. Boy, that is freaking cool. So... Tell us how this thing works. All right, well, this raises up the log. Well, let me get over here. We get a good. That that's raising your uh, your head, right? Yeah. Yep. There's a scale for you. Measurements for your earlier scale. That's right. cool. Slide just. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, that's for your width on your on what you're cutting, right? Right. That is freaking cool. And then. Uh, this is a clutch. Yeah, that and engages your your uh, blades. It just pushes them along. Yeah. Wow, that is cool. Similar to the uh, what's the one Morgan's got? The one. That's a LX 150. That's a 150. And what one's this one? LT 15. Yeah. yeah. Very good. So what do you do? Run a solution in there for the. I usually just put some dish soap in there. Yeah. And water. Yeah. Yeah. And that runs, that lubricates your, your blade, huh? Yeah. So that runs down here and onto the, right onto the blade, just trips oh, onto it. Oh yeah, look at that guys. Drip, 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 that's cool. Just put some dish soap in it and it lubes up the blade and away you go, huh? Boy, this thing is so simple, so well built. I mean, you know, that's really impressive to me. I like simplicity, you know that, because I'm always bitching about the computers. <laughs> But this is nice. So anyway, uh, so what are you you gonna do? You gonna obviously do some custom stuff and some furniture stuff. And yeah, yeah. So he's quite the carpenter anyway. I like this. Yep, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, you're looking for what? What's that planer or something you're gonna go get? Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. about getting a woodmaster. Yeah. Planer. Yeah. So. And then I got a couple projects I want to do. We were talking about this, Mike. Uh, uh, I was talking with Mike about this, but I got. A, I would like to build um, a shed up at the house, just a tractor shed to put the four wheelers and lawnmowers and stuff in. Maybe Mammy's car so it don't get snowed on. Nothing fancy, just a lean-to type shed. But uh, so when we get into some spruce and pine, which we do a lot, I think I'm gonna hire Mikey to saw the saw the rafters and stuff out. And, uh, That'd be cool. And then I'd like to build one over at the shop, too. Uh, you know, like I said, just to back the service trucks under. Because nothing, all of it don't fit in the garage, you know. I got a lawnmower over there and stuff. It would just be nice to have some stuff under cover so it don't get all snow on and ice and out in the weather. This is cool. Well, I'm going to make another video when you get cranked up and saw on. I want to yeah. do it. So. All right, man, I thought you guys might like this. This is really cool. I'm excited to watch it running. This thing's freaking awesome. I'm just amazed for what you got in this, what you can do with it, you know? Yep. It's really a lot of a lot of bang for the buck, you know? That's cool. Show everybody how these things work. Well, what you did here, right, you, you put runners down so you can level it. You level it with those little, those uh, turn... Legs here. Yeah, turn legs there. And then, uh, then I just screwed them down. Into just the anchored it all down to the concrete so it wouldn't move. So if you put this outside, like under a, another, you know, built a, a mill shed so you can get into it with a tractor and stuff, you're going to have to, you could pour some like little concrete footers, right? Yeah. Just some, uh, yeah. And then, uh, so you just put some footers down and then you could use the same ideal, block them with wood for a dampener and bolt them all down, huh?
Yep. Be cool. Level it up. It's yep. cool. So what these here are your uh Yeah, these you just put the log on yep. from, from where you are this way. And yep. hold it in place. Yep. And, and then that that's your clamp. Yep. That's clamp. Yep, very simple, huh? And right when you got a roll log. Yeah. Yep. You, roll, <laughs> you just use you can't hook and roll it, huh? Yeah. Rolls pretty easy on those. Oh I bet. That's cool. That is cool. Very, very neat. I'm impressed. These things make really nice straight stuff too, yeah. from what you know, from what I uh you got some wood over here, but it's got snow Yeah, snow. <laughs> Ugh. Wow, that's pretty look at that, huh? That's red there, isn't it? Yep, red oak. Wow, boy, that that beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That is beautiful. Imagine the stuff, I mean, just even out of these little pieces right here. You know, I mean, my gosh, flooring and furniture stock. And it's unbelievable. Not much gets wasted, does it? What is this? Pine or hemlock? That's right. Boy, they sure make a nice little... You've had these stickered and they're not twisting, huh? No. Look at how nice and straight they are. What is wrong with that? That's cool. Boy, they're nice looking boards, man. Nice looking studs. Boy. Makes me want to build a shed. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see what you get out of them spruce, a couple spruce tree, uh, spruce logs. They're gonna be nice. Yeah. That's good material. That's that's Norwegian spruce. Guy had a took a tree down and asked me if I if I needed this stuff, and I I told him yeah, drop it off. And I I paid him for it, and Mike bought these off me or Mitch, one of you guys did. Mm -hmm. well, that's gonna make some beautiful material there. There's some nice framing out of that. I don't know how that, how does that work for sheathing? I guess it would work all right. Huh? Probably would, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I know it makes good framing. That's the same stuff that, you know, everybody's using. You know, like when you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, that's what you're getting. There's that Norwegian spruce for your studding, you know. Sure. Unless it's Western, you know, dug fur or something. But most, most of the framing lumber is... Around here, anyway, in the eastern part of the United States is is Norway spruce. That's what that is. That's a big log. That'll handle that, now, huh? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's cool. Well, I have to trim it a little bit. Yeah, just to get the bell through. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be like cool. Between these two logs, there's 500 and some feet in. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's nice, huh? That is cool. I can't wait to see what that looks like when it's milled. It's funny because I've said this on the. I've, I've made comments on outdoors with the Morgans because he's soaring red pine. And I said, it's funny because I just talked to a guy less just now, uh, this morning, called me for some softwood. And he said he'd take white pine and hemlock. I said, what about, what about spruce and, spruce and, uh, you know, red pine? Went, oh, I don't want that. It's like, weird. It's like people, I don't get it. You know? well, who knows? All right, buddy. Well, good luck with that thing. I can't wait to see you sawing some stuff on it. So, um, say ta-ta for now. Huh? <laughs>